In the PDP, we are proud of Governor Wike because he's a great performer. We are proud of him because he is a supporter of the party. We are proud of him because he's someone, when he says this, he does it. And he's not the kind of person that when he gives a word, he will run away. This man will never run away. He's... So we congratulate you for this wonderful project. And uh, we know that this will add to the beauty and efficiency of this growing and wonderful city. This, uh, when completed, will certainly help in uh, the uh, accessibility of the various structures within the city. You've done, Mr. Governor, you've done, I'm told that this is the 12th. Already you've done several flyovers. In fact, our distinguished senator from Abia State coming in this morning, it took him just 10 minutes to get from the outskirts of the city into the central part. What used to take almost two hours. Mr. Governor, you are kind of raising the level of efficiency within Port Harcourt. This will now become the location of several industries. I can see so many firms now wanting to locate in Port Harcourt. If you want to grow your money, go to Port Harcourt. If you want to function well, go to Port Harcourt. If you want to live peacefully, go to Port Harcourt. Mr. Governor, here we are coming to Port Harcourt. <laughs> Your Excellency, your sustained emphasis on development projects has shown clearly that good governance is possible through good leadership. You have demonstrated the power of good leadership in delivering development projects to the people of River State. Please accept our congratulations for this kind of good leadership that performs. You have a bright future. I'm not a prophet, but our people say, looking at you, you have a bright future. If some people have de kind of uh, disappointed you this time around, don't you worry. Your future is bright. Age is on your side. You will preside over Nigeria someday. You didn't hear me. I said you will preside over Nigeria someday. If you believe that, put your hands together for this governor. Let me now urge the good people of River State to a very wonderful, wonderful people to now ensure that in the forthcoming elections, you vote massively for the candidate of our party who is being supported by this performing governor so that there will be continuity, so that the good things he's doing here can be continued by the next set of people that are going to govern this place. Don't make the mistake of throwing your way your vote to another party. The PDP will never let you down. We shall do well. We shall excel. We shall perform. We shall be trustworthy. And so we plead with you to really, as it were, in the forthcoming elections, ensure that the candidates of our party are supported and elected. Your Excellency, we salute your strong commitment to good leadership even within the wider PDP. We know that a number of forces have disappointed you, but don't you worry. God is always on the side of the righteous. God is always on the side of those who want to do good things for the people. And therefore, we want you to stay firm, stay within the PDP, never waver, go on straight on, because so many people outside River State are looking up to you. And I have the honor to really request you to kindly allow me, given the very, very important position of this great state in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, kindly allow me this very important platform to make a few statements that are beyond River State for the rest of Nigeria. Here in River State, through the good governance of this gov governor, you have enjoyed peace and security. The rest of Nigeria needs peace and security. There has been a total failure by the government of the APC at the center. Nigeria is now suffering from insecurity. Even Abuja is no longer safe. And therefore, I'd like to take the opportunity 
of this wonderful platform to appeal to the Commander-in-Chief, together with all the leaders at the top, that the people of Nigeria deserve much, much more than this. We cannot continue to suffer under insecurity. We have the kind of forces, Nigeria's military forces, are more than enough to defeat these bandits. They are more than enough to be able to take over. But they need the kind of qualitative leadership that will give directives, that will give the kind of orders that are proper, that will provide the resources, that will provide the leadership, so that the people can now deliver. Look at what this governor has done. Before he came on, you know what was happening in this state. He came in, gave good focused leadership, and now you are in peace. We want to transport this peace to the rest of Nigeria. It is possible and it must be done. And therefore, I'd like to assure the good people of River State that your governor here together with us, we shall continue to ensure that if this people will fail, as they failed woefully, that Nigerians give that opportunity to the People's Democratic Party so that we can bring at the center a government that care for the people. Because the security and welfare of the people is the primary purpose of government. If you cannot secure the people, it can, if you cannot provide peace and stability, then you are not a government. Government is about people, people's security, people's welfare, people's future, people's everything that is really important to them. Therefore, don't make the mistake of wasting your vote to go to the other side. You know whom I mean. The APC has failed, nationally failed, woefully failed, embarrassingly failed. Therefore, don't even go there. We want to assure you that the problems with the PDP, we shall resolve them. And if they are not resolved, this leader, the governor here, together with all of us, we shall tell the people of Nigeria where to go. But for now... <laughs> Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.